Hillary Clinton giving a thumbs up, setting off for her final face-to-face -face showdown with Donald Trump. Staying off the campaign trail and above the fray, President Obama weighing in from the Rose Garden, taking aim at Trump and his talk of a rigged election. I'd advise Mr. Trump to stop whining and go try to make his case to get votes. On the eve of the third presidential debate, aides to Clinton tell CNN she's bracing for the toughest tangle yet. They believe Trump is becoming increasingly desperate. An uncivil tone in St. Louis, starting without a handshake, could escalate in Las Vegas Wednesday night. Since their last meeting, Trump's spiraling among Republicans. But new questions for Clinton, too. On hacked campaign emails, revealing one calculation after another. And paid speeches to Goldman Sachs, showing a friendly approach to Wall Street. And whether the State Department pressed the FBI to return emails, retroactively classified, to their original unclassified setting. It was here in Las Vegas, one year ago, when Clinton breathed a sigh of relief on her emails. Enough of the emails. Let's talk about the real issues facing America. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you. Yet three weeks before Election Day, it's hardly behind her. Advisors tell CNN that Clinton devoted considerable time in debate practice, once again, to put to rest the lingering controversy over email and serious questions about her honesty and trustworthiness. But those questions have been overshadowed by Trump's own talk. It's a rigged system, didn't it? But you have to say, we figured it out, right? We figured it out. The president stopping just shy of mocking Trump, seemingly trying to provoke him on the eve of the debate. Whenever things are going badly for you and, and you lose, you start blaming somebody else. Then you don't have what it takes to be in this job. To extinguish Trump's talk of a rigged election, Democrats are trying to run up the score, making new investments in red states like Arizona, Georgia, and Utah, and trying to capture control of the Senate by winning seats in Indiana and Missouri. All this as Democrats are still dealing with the fallout from campaign chairman John Podesta's stolen emails. Another batch published today on WikiLeaks reveals House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi's reluctance to bat Clinton. Top aide Huma Abedin wrote campaign manager Robbie Mook, HRC asked for her endorsement, and she didn't say yes. HRC said she felt it was a non-answer. Mook replied, that's frustrating, but I think she will get big kudos for asking. Pelosi's endorsement came nearly a year later, after Clinton's primary fight with Bernie Sanders. The hacked email shows Sanders is also the subject of scorn. Podesta displaying his contempt for Sanders after the Paris Climate Agreement, writing, can you believe that doofus Bernie attacked it?